The UK coast is a rich and diverse ecosystem and provides important habitat to a vast array of amazing marine animals. Depending on where you are in the UK, you could see any of the following species. Common seals, grey seals, bottlenose dolphins, common dolphins, Risso's dolphins, harbour porpoises, orca, minke whales, basking sharks, and sunfish. As a nation, we love marine animals. We are often overcome with excitement and joy when we see dolphins, seals and porpoises in the wild, and we watch in amazement when a giant sunfish enjoys a break from the deep sea and absorbs the warm rays from the sun. But do we know how to behave around these magnificent animals when on the water? If you are enjoying the UK coastline in any marine vessel, be that a fishing vessel, recreational boat, jet ski or kayak, here are some guidelines of how to enjoy marine animals while keeping those animals safe and calm. This way, you get the best wildlife experience and no one is harmed in the process. Everybody wins. It should always be the choice of the animal to come to you and not the other way around. To ensure a positive wildlife spotting experience, always remain at least 100 metres from marine animals, especially whales, dolphins and porpoises. If they want to interact with you, they will. Slowly approach marine animals from a side angle. Never approach head on or from the rear. Additionally, never chase the animals. This is illegal in the UK and can cause a lot of stress to marine animals. Never cross the path of a marine animal or a group of animals. They will most probably feel chased and will likely flee from your vessel. Slow down to a no wake speed and maintain a steady direction. You will make them feel more secure and the probability of a close encounter will be much higher. Never split a group of marine animals, especially cetaceans. You could be separating mother calf groups which can cause a lot of stress to the animals. Be aware of other boats in the surroundings. If the area is busy with boats, please think of the animal's welfare and remove yourself to reduce stress. Be especially aware of the presence of mothers and calves. Never spend more than 20 minutes with cetaceans unless they want to spend longer time with you. Never feed cetaceans or other marine mammals. You do not want to perturb their natural feeding habits, which may cause big problems in the long run. This especially goes for seals. Try to make as little noise as possible. Be aware of possible signs of distress. Signs of distress include blowing air underwater, tail slapping, tail sweeping, and unusually prolonged dives with substantial horizontal movements. If you see any of these behaviours, leave the area at a very low speed. If you are on a wildlife tour, kindly discourage other people from putting a lot of pressure on the skipper in the aim of making them as close as possible to the animal. The most sensible operators often have the best encounters. These are the tour operators you want to support. Make use of equipment such as binoculars and long zoom cameras. These will allow you to see the animals as if they are close to you without being physically close and therefore reducing stress. All cetaceans are protected from disturbance under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. It is illegal to actively pursue or harass cetaceans by chasing and or circling them while on board a marine vessel, to swim with cetaceans, to intentionally or accidentally injure a cetacean, this can be in the form of a boat collision or accidentally by caught in fishing gear, trying to or actively touching cetaceans, damaging or causing destruction to their place of rest, shelter or breeding, and disturbance of any kind. By following these simple guidelines, we can enjoy the presence of marine animals while protecting their safety and welfare at the same time. Please help spread this important message by sharing this video with your friends and family and especially boat owners and happy wildlife spotting.